When you use Microsoft Word for academic writing, there are three important things that you need to have. First is reference management software, and I talk about Zotero in another video. Then uh, Grammarly or some other AI powered uh, proofreading tool is highly useful. And the third one is that you need to understand how word styles work and be able to clean up styles when you get a messy document. In this video, I'll go through the third of these points. So let's take a look at this document here. This is the research notification form. So this is a form that you need to fill uh, when you uh, do empirical study. And I got this from the university website. And this is a very messy document as far as styles go. We can see already here that there is like this, this gray here is different than this gray here. If we look carefully, this line, uh, this difference between these paragraphs is not the same as the, uh, the space between these paragraphs. So lots of little inconsisten inconsistencies. There is indentation here is not the same as here. And also the color is not the same. So this is a messy document. And another thing that you notice is that if we use uh, view the side panel, sidebar, navigation, there is there's nothing in the navigation pane. So the navigation pane, if you have a well-formatted document, it allows you to quickly navigate between different parts of the document. And I have it pretty much always open when I write, because that allows me to see the structure of the document that I have. And the structure is an important part of my workflow. Then if we go out to outlining, <coughs> outlining tool here, the outlining tool just shows the, the text of the document that there is no structure here. So how do we, uh, what's wrong with the document and how do we fix it? Well, first of all, we need to get a bit more information. So we have first paragraph marks on. So we can see here that this is not actually a uh, spacing, it's an empty paragraph. So that should be fixed for outlining to work properly, for example. So you are not supposed to have this. This is supposed to be done with word style. And then when we open styles pane, we can see that there are lots of styles here. I see that there may be four different kinds of text. We have this text here, like all this te text up here. So maybe that's one style. We have this one paragraph here, like normal paragraph. Then we have heading and then we have indented paragraph. And that's it. So you basically have just four styles, but there's like spelling error, a paragraph, normal text run, normal uh, basic text, some of this in, in Finnish. So this is very messy. And to see, which ones we are actually using. So um, in current document, we can have styles guide. So this is the ones, these are the styles that are, are being used. So we have EOP, I don't know what that is. We have JYU Nimi. So that makes sense. It's this uh, style here. But all of this style is, is unnecessary. And then if we go to our direct formatting guides, we can see that on top of all this styling, we have direct formatting. So these have different styles. So this is style uh, EOP, and this is style paragraph one and five. And then uh, someone has formatted this manually to look the same. So that is not ideal. You should do all the formatting in styles. So when you have a clean document, you should just have a few styles here that are actually being used. And then you shouldn't have much of direct formatting. Like if you're bolding, then that would be a legitimate use of direct formatting, but otherwise not. Let's start now cleaning this document. So now we decide which styles we use. So these styles should be heading one because that's the, uh, the, the main level heading. And we're gonna change the recommended style here. And then uh, we choose heading one. So the style doesn't look the, like the style that we have, but we can click here and then click modify to match style, update to match selection. That makes the style look exactly like the text it is. So it assigns the style without actually modifying the text. So we have headings now and we can see that the heading comes here to the navigator. Uh, we can do the headings. Okay, now we've done the headings. And the, now the qu next question is that should we work on, on this first or this first? And uh, what do we want to call this? So we have uh, all of this is paragraph, but do we want to use paragraph style here? Or do we want to use paragraph style here? Because these are clearly different styles. I think it makes more sense to create a new style for all, all this text. So I will create a new style and then uh, call it paragraph in the indent. And then I click 
in current document to see it so it's not in use and I have the paragraph indent here so there's white here so it's not being used these colors and numbers indicate the stars that are in use so I will update the paragraph indent to match this text because it looks looks what I want to have so update to match selection just for sure and then I will mark all this to be paragraph indent like so I still have these extra paragraphs here so I will need to modify and I will modify the style to add spacing so I'll do format paragraph and then a uh, 12 point and now I can eliminate all these extra line breaks here or extra empty paragraphs and I do this for for the rest of the paragraphs that's just speed up the video And you can see here, because this bowling is part of a uh, font style, the paragraph style wouldn't, didn't affect it. There we go. So now the document is mostly fixed. And <clears throat> we can see that we don't have any more of those empty paragraphs. So that is, I want to adjust the spacing, which is that just the style. And uh, we still maintain these gray backgrounds for the instructions, which is good. That's what we want. So now we have this part to edit. And this is a bit messy because the, the background here is actually part of the style. So if we update the paragraph to uh, look like this text, then uh, what will happen is that <coughs> it gets it gets the uh, the background color as well. We don't want to have the background colors in the style. So what we do here when we do this first part is that we clear formatting and then uh, we manually format this again. So we uh, do the indentation. Then we check the font size, it's 11. And it is Calibri 11. And now it is correct. And then what we do is we take paragraph and match the selection. We also need to do uh, the spacing, like so. And eliminate these empty paragraphs. Now we still have these font styles. And if we want to get rid of this uh, font style, this 11 here, which doesn't really bother me, but for some purists it might, might be bothering, we can do just um, uh, clear formatting. So let's do the uh, this part and then uh, up to here we can do clear formatting and then we just reapply the styles. So uh, all of this is paragraph, then all of this is heading, and then all of this is heading indent, uh, paragraph indent here. So that gives us the, um, the styles. So font styles don't really make a difference with paragraph style can really mess up your document if it's not set properly. And now we can go and view, for example, our outline. And we have these nice collapsible sections here. We can also um, these whole collapsible sections and then you can do so first line only you can see that each paragraph is, is here and this allows you to uh, work, work with the document uh, structure a bit better than if you didn't have the styles. So this is a quick intro to word styles. Uh, make liberal use of clear formatting and uh, show style guides, guides, so direct formatting to see where, is, uh, where there's unnecessary formatting. If you have a lot of direct formatting, then that indicates a problem. Like we could uh, uh, clear formatting here and then reapply it if we wanted to. But this is uh, how word styles work.